Welcome to yet another interesting episode of The Startup. In this episode, we meet an entrepreneur by the name Ruth Mwanzia. Ruth Mwanzia is the director of Cooler Waters. She produces this fantastic water, tasty water. She'll tell us her story, how she started the journey after the break. Don't go away. Fantastic, fantastic name. name. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Yeah. How did you first of all come up with a fantastic name like this one, Cooler Waters? One day, I was actually driving to work with my mom. So I thought that water makes you, actually water makes you cool, makes you feel hydrated. Then my mom was like, why don't we connect the name cool and actually just put an A at the end. So it became cooler waters and it sounded really, really good and something that uh, we would use and attract even people to buy the product. So that's how cooler waters came and then, you know, it's also, then we decided to also remove the C and, and replace it with K. That's it, cooler waters. And also cooler waters can stand for current where it's manufactured, for the country where it's from. Yes, that's how we came up with the name cooler waters. How was the journey? How did you start the business? Um, the journey began in November 2014. So you're still a startup? Yes, yes, we are, sti we are, we are, still, a, we are still a startup. Although now we are trying to, to scale up yes. from being a startup, at least now we become the medium sized and all. So yes, we, are, we have plans to actually expand and be a household name in Kenya. But we began in, um, in November 20, 2014 after I graduated from school. My background is that I grew up in Kitui, facing a lot of challenges to do with water scarcity, to do with water shortages, droughts. As you know, in Kitui, we have the semi-arid kind of climate. So we have like two rain seasons, and sometimes rain is not even promised. So I sat back and asked myself, what can I do to bring a solution to my community? I, I, all, I knew all along I wanted to do something with water, but you know, I wanted to do bot uh, bottled water and everything. So I talked to one of my best friends who really encouraged me and told me why don't you start with bottling the water as you think of other solutions to come up. Wow, wow. So it's yes. out of passion, it's we can out, say. Yes, it's out of passion. Your professional background. I know you're in communication. Yes. How? The transition. Yes, um, so in, um, in school I studied at African Nazarene University. I did my bachelor's degree in mass communication. I specialized in electronic media. Actually, it should take your job. Yes, I thought I would actually work in a media station. Actually, I hustled so much to get into KBC when I was looking for my internship, which wasn't the case. So luckily, I got internship into a water farm. Wow. Yes, Water Resources Management Authority, that's why I did my, my internship. So from there now, my interest started really, really, really growing. And it was like, also God is showing me this is, this is the field that is set out for you. So yes, and then now um, there, 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 there after internship, they actually like, I got lucky. I got retained communications, but still my passion was in, was, was in water. Wow, yes. I love the experience. Yeah. First of all, you come from Kitui. Yes. They have scarcity of water. Yes. You have that passion to solve that particular yes. issue yes. in the community. Yes. Then again, you get internship in water department in yes. the country. Yes. Then you develop to that particular passion. Yes. With how much capital did you start the business? Um, before I started, I did, I did my market research. That, that was very important for me because, you know, going into the manufacturing industry, it's actually a very, actually a, a very heavy kind of investment. So out of my interest and out of my passion, I went to SafePack, found out how much bottles are going to cost, went to Toyotsu to find out like how much do the bands go for, went to Davison Shatleaf and just found out, you know, how much does this go for and everything. So yes, I, I, I came and I did my budget and it was actually, actually I had to start with uh, uh, approximately 2 million Kenya shillings. Million Kenya. Yeah. Wow. So all that money went to the business. Yes. 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 Now let us talk about now the packaging. Yes. How did you come up with the packaging? Um, wow. First of all, I, I thank God because I have a very creative team. I have a team of very hardworking young men. And also I thank God because I have a, I have a very good brain. I'm also a very creative kind of person. 
So yes, I had my I had my design and have my designer who does for me the designs. So I went to see my designer and I explained to him this is my vision. These are the colors I want, and we sat down and then now we came up with the you know with the logo and um, and also now I um, I also had to go to these are plastic like my my labels where we actually do the plastic not the paper it's because when you store the paper in the refrigerator it tends to like tear off and all but this one is more long lasting so I also went now to the plastics company that does the labels and actually showed them my design and they actually printed for pre printed for me and then also we pack from 500 ml to 20 liters and one thing is that our customers tell us they really love our, how it's packaged and even that actually markets for us and also I think I should include that we also do branded water so if you have an event like maybe a wedding a birthday and you you need your logo to be there you know customized messages actually communicate more communicate even better so if you have a birthday you have a wedding we can actually like brand for you we also have customized bottles clear bottles that we also do the special kind of branding wow. yeah Probably, I know this market is saturated with yeah. a lot of, so many companies doing water. Yeah. What sets you apart? Um, what, what sets me apart is that um, our marketing strategy is very, we have an, actually I would say we have an excellent market strategy. Uh, also the way, um, like us guys, we, we don't only market on social media, but we also go to, we also do door to door. We actually try to reach our customers from where they are. Apart from that, we're also involved in many CSR activities. I just don't believe yes, money is important, but it's not always about money. It's also about making, creating an impact. And that's why we, we're involved in many community activities. Like in Mathare, we, we, uh, we partnered with an organization. It's called the Ghetto Talent Initiative. So what we do is that now we, meant, we mentor those kids from the slums, and also um, they have different talents. Some are artists, some are models. So we bring them to this institution and where they are now, they are mentored and are shown there is much more to life than what you than what you see. Also in Korogosho, we carry out such a, such a program and I would say, um, I thank God because we've gotten recognized now, we have an award from Africa Nazarene University for giving back to the society. I've also been shortlisted by CESRA, an organization that um, actually checks on companies that do social responsibility and I'm actually going to be a, to, be, to have the second award so I thank God for the journey. Okay, since you started the business yeah. up to now, yes. have you faced any challenges? Yes, I have faced a lot of a lot of challenges but we've also managed to overcome most of them. Uh, my first challenge I'd say it's a competition. As you know, the bot as you stated, the bottled water industry in Kenya is flooded. So there's a lot of competition, but it depends on how on how you stand out in the market. As I've told you that the way we market our products and also the we are all, we are always in touch with our with our with our customers and also the way yeah the way we we, we run the business actually that gives us a, and also doing the branded water and everything that gives us a competitive age over 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 the rest another challenge that i face is market penetration especially when you need the market people ask you why should i consume your product i'm used to this other pro product why, why, what makes your product different but what i do is that i just give them samples they get to taste and like wow this is what i've been missing the taste actually can even open this and actually really taste because it really tastes good because our water goes through seven stages of filtration and it's very pure and we are kept certified so that means as in the sweet taste actually also wins for us more more clients and also i would say at some point also capital sometimes is a challenge especially now when as we are at that stage where we want to scale up and also yeah sometimes capital is a big big challenge yes okay yes. now you have been in business for almost now two years yes so you're still a startup yes. and yes. Uh, yes. i know you're scaling up yeah what yes. lessons have you learned um, I have learned many lessons. One of them is just the the, the value of of persistence. You have you have you have to persist. You just you just don't start something and you give up because it's because it's hard. And that's why I tell anyone who wants to start a business, you have to be passionate about it. And apart from the passion, you have to you have to keep on going, no matter how difficult it 
it becomes because the time the time you are about to give up now is when you a breakthrough happens so don't as in yeah, keep on being uh, persistent another thing that i have um, i have learned is that um, you can't do anything everything on your own you need to you need to delegate because at the beginning i used to do everything i'm the one with packaging i'm the one who wants like want to go and you know i drive and deliver so i discovered no i can't i'm getting tired i'm not even being productive so sometimes also hire experts to actually help you run the company and everything yes you're young very passionate yes. family and friends did they support you when you started the journey um yes i would say um i got lucky because uh, once I sh first I shared the idea with my best friend and she's the one who really, really pushed me because she really believed in, in what I, w I wanted to do. And she's the one who even suggested start with bottling before now you, you, you do it in a, bigger, in a bigger way, start with, start with bottling. I also talked to my dad and then I also later on talked to my mom and they were very, very supportive because this was a common challenge. We had all gone through it issues to do with water scarcity as i told you we'd go to the river and like find the river is dry and sometimes we'd have to send for a clean water tank all the way from the town it's very expensive and oil and the water you know you have to like when you're bathing you know you have to use little water because it's the same one to use for cooking and everything so yes my yeah my, i actually got very uh, supportive family and i thank god for that because they actually gave me the boost and the energy to be able now and the motivation also to start mm. yeah two years from now three years from now yeah. you see cooler waters yeah. where do you see it uh, as a company yes one of uh we want to become a household name in kenya we, want, we just want to be the way in other areas in in um apart from nairobi in gidukuri we in limuru we are in um Kitui, we in, we in Kabete, we also in Machakos. So I just want Kulautas to become a household name in Kenya. We want to go to other regions like Mombasa, Kisumu, Kitale. Yeah, and also apart from that, we also want to go to at least one East African country. We're still deciding whether we want to do maybe Tanzania or Uganda. But yes, um, my friend was telling me that Tanzania is actually very marketable. If I brought my product, it would really, really go. So those are some of the things that we're actually thinking along along the line, apart from it just being a household name in Kenya, we want to scale now to an East African country. Ruth, I know you seriously achieved that. What drives you as an entrepreneur? Seeing my clients appreciate my product, seeing them smiling, and also the community, the community activities that I do, and this, and people come back and they write to me letters and they're like, "Wow, Ruth, you made me believe that my dream can come true and everything." So that helps me and that keeps me going. Just uh, my clients are smiling and everyone is just smiling then that really, really drives me, gives me the motivation. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. The biggest lesson that we've learned from this story is, are your clients smiling? After the break, how they were started, then later on, a startup's expert, John Gowie.